Hello everyone. Welcome to Chrome Music Colombo. Let's get back to our Western music theory lessons. When we learn music, we can think of two main sections. To make it easier to learn music. That is, pitch and duration. Today we are going to focus on rhythm, which is a subcategory of duration. Rhythm happens when beats or pulses are accented in various ways. Accents are placed on beats to create accented beats. These are stressed or played louder than other beats in the bar. Please notice the accent mark placed on the beat. A bar contains a group of beats. There are bar lines at the beginning and end of a bar. The group of beats is repeated over and over again, producing many bars as required by the melody. Whether there are accents indicated on the beats inside a bar or not it is taken for granted that there is always an accent on the first beat of any bar. Accents placed on beats inside the bar create rhythms. Now let's listen to a series of beats without any accent on any one of them. You may have noticed, they were all crotchet beats. Now we are going to add an accent on the first crotchet beat of every bar. Leaving a gap of two beats between repeating accents. Now you may have noticed that there were three crotchet beats in every bar. Now we must take note of a very interesting thing for phenomenon, which in fact has still not happened up to now in today's lesson. That is, what will happen if you omit some beats from a bar? Let's listen and find out. 1, 2, rest, 1, 2, rest. In the following rhythm, after eight bars, let's omit the third beat in every bar. In every bar the third beat was replaced by a crotchet rest. As a result a new rhythm was created. Therefore we can create new rhythms by not only accenting beats in the bar, but also by removing beats from the bar. In other words by adding a rest to wherever we wanted. In this case a crotchet rest was added to the position of the third beat. Accenting or unaccenting beats may also create rhythms. It must be noted that tempo changes may also create rhythms. Tempo is the speed at which beats or notes flow in a melody. We saw that in the semibrief tree the number 4 denoted crotchets. Therefore to denote two main characteristics of the flow of beats that has been influencing the rhythm we have been experiencing in this study. We are going to introduce two figures written one on top of the other. They are 3 and 4. The time signature called 3-4 is born. The top figure tells us that there are three crotchets in a bar. The bottom figure tells us that the kind of beats in the bar are crotchets. 